here are all the parts you need to make a rack tube, an electrical one. This is a tube, one meter long. Goes over the heating element, connected to the rod on the side, heating element. You can see here electrical wires inside from an old uh, paint stripper gun, electrical one of course. <laughs> This rod has numbers on it to see how deep it uh, goes into the tube for experimental uh, purposes. Made the transformer out of an old microwave oven transformer. Only left the primary windings, the original one, and then uh, make a new secondary windings. Just uh, enough to get the uh, Heating uh, spiral working at best, about about 30 turns I think. Just uh, try it out with 20 turns and every time a turn or more and then look how uh, the element was holding. I will demonstrate that by plugging it in. Starts to heat up. You can see it glow and I must take it out of it for that again it burns through. In the pipe you have uh, <coughs> the airflow it cools it down and then uh, it stays uh, alright. You can see there's a restricted flow because of the isolator surrounding it but it doesn't seem to matter for the working of the tube. Now put it uh, together and uh, demonstrate it to you. Now the tube is fully assembled. You can we try it out. First we have to plug it in. Now it's heating, heating up the element. I have to wait a little while. It gets hot. Start to resonate. You can analyze the sound now. Exactly one meter long pipe and it's an uh, open pipe resonator because both sides are open. You only have to take into account that the uh, top part is hotter because of the heating element. Uh, the sound speed uh, increases then. Try to uh, look in the top side, maybe you can see it glowing. That's the Riker tube, just a pulsating uh, 
operate. And they use it in industry sometimes and then uh, they burn coal inside it or something. And then because of the resonating you get a very clean burning.